Hello! I will be briefly interrupting this episode of Terraria with an amazing announcement! Myself and the rest of the Yogg's cast will be at Insomnia 60 this April. Be sure to come meet us all. We'll have new and exclusive merch at the event, including a Terraria poster. Whoa! Check it out! It will take place at the NEC Birmingham this Easter between the 14th and the 17th of April. Getting to the NEC is easy peasy, so please don't hesitate to come and meet us. We even get 10% off a day ticket using the code i 60 yogscast Insomnia isn't just a day event, there's plenty on in the evenings too. On the Friday, there'll be a pub quiz. On the Saturday, there'll be Insomnia's first ever gig, Chase and Status. On Sunday evening, there'll be the Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses show. I look forward to meeting you this Easter weekend. Is that, is that okay? Hello and welcome back to Terraria. Today we're going to be building a chlorophyte farm. And this is probably the best way to make sure you have enough chlorophyte going forwards. It spawns in the jungle as raw ore, but if you have enough, you can place it down in the world and it will spread to nearby mud blocks. Now, with that mechanic in mind, it makes it very easy to create your own farms and create loads of chlorophyte, because some of the armor sets require something like 700 chlorophyte ore. So you're going to need a way to get a lot of it quite quick. Now, to get going, all we're really going to need are mud blocks. So if we go in basic blocks, I've already picked out a couple of stacks of mud, and luckily enough, people have gathered this and not thrown it away. And it's the only thing that chlorophyte will grow in. It won't grow in dirt or stone, so mud's where it's at. We're also going to grab some decorative blocks, so some stone slabs. Uh, we'll get some grey brick as well, because that might come in handy. And we'll need some light sources to jazz up the farm. So why not a bunch of mahogany candelabras? Why not? Now next up, we have to work out where we're going to put our farm. And I think people would get a bit distressed if it was too far away. My tree, though, is just about the right distance, I think. So we're going to head on over to that. And what we can do is we can spread the chlorophyte farm. Oh, my God. Hang on a sec. No, we might be in trouble because the hallow has really spread quite far. And I think that might give us some trouble when trying to farm this. Wow. Yeah, this comes really. Oh, we're going to have to deal with this at some point. Well, never mind. So we're going to come over here, and I think we won't go to the tree because that's where the hallows spread. We're going to go and build it next to Duncan's ziggurat. So we should be able to break through his wall down here and start to carve out a nice area for our farm. Okay, when you've cleared out a nice big area, we're going to make it a nice long area because the blocks where we farm can't be too close to each other. So we need a nice long area where we can put lots of chlorophyte pods far away from each other. So we're just going to put down a nice attractive floor and decorate the area. And for that we're going to use some stone slabs. And I reckon some stone slab walls as well. Now the unicorn mount makes us a little bit taller, which is actually kind of handy because it means we can paint these blocks on the roof without having to use the grappling hook to get up there. And now we'll give it a nice background. Okay, so phase one is complete and we have our nice long hallway that we're going to put the chlorophyte farm in. Now, you don't need too much space, but you've got to make sure you do leave yourself enough room. And I'm a bit worried that I haven't done that, but we'll see. I'm going to go and grab the ruler now from the chests that I have, because the ruler is really great for helping us count how many blocks we have and need. And also I'll grab the chlorophyte ore, because that's a pretty important part of this build. Now there's the bars, but what we really need is ore, because ore is what spreads. And we've only got four, but that's enough to get us started. Okay, so, chlorophyte farming 101. Chlorophyte, in its raw form, will only spawn in the underground jungle. That's where you have to get it from. But we can then make it spread from one block to another using mud. Now your farm has to be underground, it can't be above ground. And it has to be pretty far away from ebonstone or crimstone, at least three blocks. And I have a feeling that Duncan's... No, Duncan's used granite here, not ebonstone, so we should be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down first the little mud blocks. And let's see if we've got enough space. We'll get the ruler out and we'll press on. Oh my god, that makes the screen messy. But here we go, we'll put our first pot up here. And we wanna, we're going to go for a 5 by 5 
So if we make a block of 5x5, five five, that doesn't leave us enough room to go underneath it. So the chlorophyte will spread to these 21 blocks. Now apparently, if you go to the cavern level, which is one level below underground, it will spread to 41 ore blocks, so that's one way to get more bang for your buck. But for the time being, we're just going to use these simple pods because we shouldn't need too much chlorophyte. And once we're done, we're never going to need it ever again really because we'll be on the next tier of play. So let's build the next pod over here. And now judging by this amount of space you have to leave between them, it means we're not going to have much room to get these farms down. So this is roughly the distance they have to be apart. Well, I say roughly, that's kind of technical. Now, all the information I have, it, it, it changes every patch. So I could be wrong. I could have never been right. There's also a better ruler that you can get that gives you the exact distance between two points, which is much easier for counting where you need to have a specific distance between two things. Like in this case. But let's plop down the chlorophyte ore and see if this grows into the mud blocks. Now, since we have four, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out this area even further and just increase the cavern size. And then when we get back, let's see if any chlorophyte has spread to that other mud. Okay, so the last piece of chlorophyte is going down over here. And I'm not 100% sure this will work. It's the first time I've ever tried this, so... It's very much an experiment for me, too. So we'll leave that to chill, and meantime we're going to go and farm some wyverns, come back in about 5-10 minutes, and see if anything has spread. Ah, uh, now one thing I've read is that the square needs to be at least 3x3. Three three. So I think having the stone slabs too close to the chlorophyte ore there might be trouble. So we're going to try increasing the range around it of mud. Because this chlorophyte still isn't growing, and, and well, if the, if the chlorophyte farm doesn't grow chlorophyte, then what's the point in it, right? And what we can also do, actually, is we, we can have the mud spread, kind of, out out like this. So that it looks a bit more like a, like an artificial farm. Now we're going to leave this to grow for a bit, because you don't have to set up your dedicated space for a chlorophyte farm. In fact, because the distance between... Oh, oh! Because the distance between the chlorophyte has to be so far, what you can actually just do is fall down your elevator and just periodically put bits of mud and leave a gap for chlorophyte inside them and then as you get more ore, just spread it around a bit. For example, there's a pod and let's just jump down the elevator now and put a few more of these around in reasonable places. Like for example, in here is just about perfect, it's ideal. Now, corruption will turn mud to dirt, so you have to be very careful when making farms near corruption. But we can come back later and put some chlorophyte there. And as you go down your elevator, which I hope, hope you've all kind of prepared, because honestly it's one of the best things to do in an interaria, you can just keep creating these. And as long as there's enough space between them, you can just slip down as you like and fill your pockets full of chlorophyte. Now, one thing I want to test, actually, is maybe the chlorophyte has to be sealed off. So let's go up and see if any chlorophyte has grown on our farm. I might be doing it wrong. Yeah, there's still no chlorophyte here, so there might be a problem with our farm. Let's try sealing in the chlorophyte with some mud underneath. And now let's give it time and see if it spreads. I really hope this works, but I've never done this before, so I'm not quite sure. I've done everything that the guides say to do. It's just a case of waiting and seeing if they're actually correct and if I've done everything right. Whoa, now, okay. After a little bit of research, it seems that chlorophyte will only grow at a rate of about one block per hour. Which means it's going to take a long, long, long time for this chlorophyte to actually grow and bear its fruit. And honestly, by the time it's done, we might not even need the chlorophyte. We might just want to go into the next tier of armor. But it's an option going forwards. We've got the chlorophyte farm set up. Whether you want to devote the time to creating chlorophyte is up to you, your own discretion. But this has just been a quick and dirty guide to how chlorophyte farming works. An hour is longer than we've really got to wait. But maybe when we come back next session, we'll start to see the fruits of our labor, and we might see some of that chlorophyte spawning. Because you can effectively double your chlorophyte every hour. 
But I've seen conflicting information everywhere. Some people say you need to be about 36 blocks apart for the chlorophyte to spread. Some people say it will, it will spread even if there's just one block between the two blocks. So we'll set up some mud cubes for it to spread to. And we'll give them about two blocks width breathing room. And who knows, you might get lucky. I've seen reports, uh, honestly, information's a bit muddled, but some people say that they've had ore grow within five minutes. Some people say it takes about an hour per ore to grow. All I know for sure is we haven't seen a single piece of ore grow yet, so who's to say? So we've got some extra pods, but we can put the extra chlorophyte down to see if it spreads any better, but we're gonna leave it for the time being. We can come back next session, see if any's grown. My likelihood thoughts are maybe not. I don't think we've made any mistakes. We've built it exactly how people on, on the wiki have built it. This should be a fully functioning chlorophyte farm. It's underground, under the first level, so it should be able to spread, but who knows? Chlorophyte is a fickle beast, and we'll have to find out next session. If you want me to build anything specifically in the Judaria series, make sure you let me know in the comments section because we're looking for ideas for cool stuff to build. We've done nothing but progress in the game so far, and that's cool and everything, but I feel like we're missing out on the building side, so I'd like a group project for everybody in the session to work on, and if you guys have any ideas for what would be a cool thing to build, make sure you tell us in the comments section, and we might give it an attempt. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for some more Druidaria next time. Take care.